Uh, where do you begin? I think it's uh, in childhood, really. Where did um, the artist come from? I don't think it came from the childhood. I think it was more a case of, as I've grown older, I've tried to uh, recapture the freedom and of expression of a child. Not in content, <laughs> but the aspect of being uninhibited and doing what you want with uh, materials at hand. I remember as a child that I, I would just use any colour to represent anything. I would draw marks that weren't realistic, that wasn't by choice, that was through ignorance. Where now I can use the same principles of freedom of expression in that, you know, it's, uh, there is no rules and I use colours where I want to use colours, whether it's true to reality. And I make marks which, as you know, are random. So they're free from any rules. So in that aspect, yes, it's going back to childhood. But as a child, I did not see myself as an artist. I think every child draws and paints, not necessarily for the love of what we call art as adults, but to look for ways of having fun and experimenting. And I think fun and experimenting is something that we should instill in our daily practice as artists because if you take it too seriously and you put too many rules down then you inhibit yourself in the respect that if it doesn't go right then there's no way forward with it. But if you don't have any rules that make things right, everything is possible. Everything has a purpose. Any mark, any colour you, you use can be changed to fit with what's in your head. You know, it's about instinct. And as a child, you use your instinct for fun and exploration. It doesn't matter what the f finished image looks like. You enjoyed it for what it was, and if it turned out great, so be it. If you got praise from your parents or your teachers, then it, it was nice. As an adult, I don't seek praise, but it's nice when you get it. But I also accept criticism. I have learnt many things from people that have, uh, I don't know, expressed opinions, not in distaste of what I do now, but it's not worry or concern, I don't know, about me or the arts, but just surprise when people meet me or my family or friends or close acquaintances who know me when they see the art, they are surprised by the subject. I'm not, so it's n there's no problem. As a child, I always remember when I first used charcoal, it wasn't about what I could do with it. It was about the sound, uh, about the mess, about how dust of a charcoal going onto the paper when I, I accidentally rubbed it, made future marks, it, you know, it was inquisitive. And in regard to um, praise at school, I didn't get much praise at school. I remember I had to do the summer fake program when I was, I think, about, oof, about 10 from a teacher I quite respected. That was encouraging, but not that much praise really for art. I didn't actually like art at school, I found it very boring, it was just too boring. You was 
given things to draw, he was given things to paint and uh, that was it. I don't see the school years you know, up to the age of 16 much that you can learn about art. You learn about the practice of materials and supports but not about art or how to use your imagination to make things original uh, to create something from yourself for yourself it was done in the principles of teaching there was a set agenda you all had to do the same thing and whoopee do you all had drawn a cabbage or you had all done a seascape with blue in the right places I just found it boring and so when it came to choosing subjects at school I never I never chose art I was uh, pulled up before the headmaster because of it but I was determined that I was not going to take art at school as an exam because it was boring and I said that and uh, that didn't go down too well with my parents I don't think though they wouldn't openly say that so art for me as a child was about fun and making marks even using my sister's um, fuzzy felts <laughs> I remember those and it wasn't about the different shapes or animals or people it was about different colours in different places and I remember my sister sort of saying what are you doing you know you've got a pig stuck on the top of the tree or this that and the other but it wasn't about that it was about a pink shape against a green shape and I think the childhood of learning painting and drawing I loved it so much that I seemed in a way to separate myself from people around me you know I, I didn't really uh, worry too much about companions or friends I had a few close friends and it's no surprise they also like drawing and painting but I think actually it didn't do me any favours as a child because not like what well, I'd say the average child where they draw go onto something else play football go onto something else ride a bike I was I could quite easily even at that age just sit there drawing and painting always look forward to Christmas not about the big presents they weren't big presents you know but I always looked forward to that one present I opened I knew what it was and it was a packet of felt tip pens you know they weren't expensive but I always looked forward to Christmas when I got a new set of felt tip pens and uh, often you know another year on they brought out a new colour and I just loved the idea of trying a new colour on paper regardless of what the subject was really I mean does any child really worry about what they draw or paint they just want to see colour they want to see marks on paper or, you know I don't think the subject really matters but that's it really as a child you know I found I lived in myself I lived in my head I lived for drawing and painting so ultimately my social skills when I was young was non-existent and uh, I was very shy really yeah shy would be the word now I don't think so